Good morning everyone and welcome back to another plan with me. This is Misty with Happy Planning with Misty and I've got a <coughs> box here. Do you guys recognize this box? Um, this is from Cocoa Daisy and this is not a brand new um, kit. As far as I did not order this straight from Coco Daisy, this is a D stash that I found. Um, but I have been looking at Coco Daisy stuff for quite a while, and so I found a D stash. And before I commit to a subscription, because with Coco Daisy you have to do three months at a time when you sign up, I found this in a D stash and. I wanted to try it out and so um, I was gonna show you guys what coming here now this is still not the whole kit I don't think I don't know um, but it sure was a lot of stuff so the cocoa daisy comes in this little um, envelope that is plastic and um, where you can store your stuff in and then here's all the goodies that come in it so it is um, everything is color coordinated to whatever um, design they've picked out for the month and so um, this is the month that they picked uh, the colors they picked out and let's see in this little bag we have the coco daisy pen and this is a mint green with little emerald like things looking in there and it comes with two refill ink kits. And then this is your spring cleaning. And it's got where you could put the area like bedroom and then what you want to do in the bedroom and then the supplies you'll need in the bedroom. Um, sticky notepads so then you can tear it off. And if you don't have the supplies, you can take all that with you to the store and get what you need and then this here from what I understand this is a little card with all the colors in the kit and that is so cute it comes with a little um, bow tab I haven't really looked at this stuff dug in um, comes with this uh, is stamps so those are very cute I've never done stamps so that's cute here is a tracker you can use a whole line of them or you can cut them and use them individually in different color ways to use throughout the planner. Here is a clip for a pen. So when you get your um, you take that sticky part off the back and then the pen that comes with the set you can put it in this pen holder and you put this to one of your pages or your dashboard or whatever in your planner. Ain't that cool? And so, um, so far what I have looked at, I have really, really enjoyed and I like what they got. These are habit tracker page tabs. Now, for anybody that subscribes to Coco Daisy, of course, you don't have to watch this video. This is just for us that are still learning about it. They come in two different colorways, but then whatever page you're on, you can tab that section. You can do it with the tracker out so you can, you can have your um, habit up above here and then you can track it see there's one two three four five six seven so there's seven 
spots, one for each day of the week, or you can write it in here, or if they've got tabs small enough, you can put the tab on there. I don't know if there's um, words small enough yet. I'm still looking through all of this. And so here is another pen. These are cute for if you're not going to um, actually use them to mark like you're placing your book you're reading or in your planner, they'll go perfect in like your, if you've got a planner that has pockets, it'll clip onto that pocket and it'll go in there and it'll be cute. I even got this planner on a D-stash. Y'all, the stuff I've got is on D-stash and my husband says, thank the Lord, because if I paid full price for everything I bought, we'd be in a poorhouse because I have very little self-control when it comes to stickers and artsy papers and stuff. I love this stuff. This is Simon. He's one of the little characters that um, is in Coco Daisy. So it says, sorry for what I said when it was winter. Cute. You can decorate with these, um, these little cards that come in here. It'll be cute to decorate with your pages. Then we've got Sunday through Monday scripts. Um, some, the full spelling, some of them is um, shortened. They're not as long. Then we've got deco stickers. These here are die cuts, I think, but they're, they still are stickers, so you can still plan your pages. Oh, look at this little duck. Speaking of ducks, I just went and fed my ducks. I've got two of these, and they look just like that. They're still babies, and their feathers haven't come in. And then you have tabs to where you can tab the pages in your planner. And if there's words, um, they might even have words in this planner that actually fit on here. Let's see, this looks like to-do list on here. April bucket list, Easter. April Fool's Day to-do list. So if you want to mark, I guess, even a to-do list on here, you can put it on there and um, tab your planner. But these are all different, and these are all stickers. They peel, the back peels off of them. Just all kinds of different little critters to, and flowers, to decorate your planner pages with. Those are so cute. So pretty. Now I am not artistic in any way, but with a little help, I believe I can do this. And this is when I have to come up with the theme, sometimes that's the problem. But if somebody comes up with the theme for me and then gives me all the cutesy stuff to do it, most of the time I can do the decorating. So like this is your um it says it's a planner add-on kit, and this is um, different things to do throughout the month of April. Okay, so this is another part of the planner add-on kit. This is days of the week with some checklists. This is also, if you want to do some spring cleaning, this is all the different things that can be done. Bedroom, kitchen, balcony, dining room, pantry, bathroom, family room, garage, office, wash baseboards, gutters, windows. Oh, I just hate dusting. Oh. This page, I know she meant it to be helpful, but that's just problem depressing, having to clean all that. It needs it. No doubt in my mind, it needs it. Just oh, getting up the willpower to do it. Some more deco sheets. So these were all the small. Um, this said plastic, 
classified planner kit at the bottom. This is the planner add-on kit on the bottom of these. So, y'all, I'm still learning. I don't know. This might be more than one kit together. So, now this says stickers from the main planner. So, you've got alpha stickers. You've got your numbers for the whole month. You've got half boxes and quarter boxes and third boxes and boxes, boxes. So, you've got some doctor's appointments, dentist appointment, birthdays, April Fool's Day, Father's Day, all kinds of stuff. Days little icons some more days of the week and a month in a glance and notes so these strips here could go on the dividers to where you can divide your days up here's another whole sheet of alphas in the yellow here's functionals so pretty here is your boxes, Flow April, Urgent Matters, um, Recurring Favorite, some more letters, Bottom Washi or Top Washi, Washi either way, some more numbers, Springs in the Air, Let's Eat Good Food, Beautiful, Very Refreshing, Smile, Just, um, words that could describe your day on your page and some decorations we got four weekend banners today's to do's meal plans next week then we've got trackers meal planner some more icons for whatever appointments you might have and some more boxes to decorate your page with and functional boxes to write in so that was all the planner stickers that I got now since I didn't order directly from Coco Daisy and this is a um, D stash this has different um, sayings so this is these two let me move this over just a minute. This says that these two are stickers from the main planner. Let me see here. Then we've got this and this that says the Daisy add on stickers. So, these could be different groupings that you actually have to add to your order. I have never ordered from them, so I'm not for sure, so I'm just guessing. But then, these sheets here say Classic Planner Sticker Kit. So, this looks like it might be the actual sticker kit that came... So, that's... One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pages of the Classic Planner Sticker Kit. And this says Classic Planner Kit. And this says Classified Planner Kit. So, y'all, I don't know how you how it all goes together like I said because I haven't ordered but they all this all has the same heading so this would be I guess that would come in that plastic container with all these bits and pieces because um, it's the actual sticker kit and everything else I think would be an add-on for the extra stuff for decorating but um, Thankfully, I was able to get all this from one lady, and it all matched. So here is some more of the die cuts um, that were like this, but these are smaller. See, this is the size tab in this one, and this is a pink one, the size tab that comes in this bundle. So it looks like we've got maybe some of the same die cuts and stuff in here, 
Some are just smaller than the other. Then in the planner kit, it comes with decorative paper that's double-sided. So here's your daisies. Man, she made these look so pretty. When I'm cutting grass, these um, dandelion things, they just fly everywhere. So there's the two sides to that. And then look at the butterflies. That's so pretty. And the blues that go with that. So then here is the book that goes along with it. This looks like a B6. I don't know if this is a B6 or not. But it does look like a B6. They have a week's size planner. Um, this is a B6, so these are similar in size. This is a little longer. So you'll have to listen to Miss Christine. She tells about each of these books, but what I wanted, the whole purpose behind even getting one of these besides just loving the colors in this kit, I wanted to have a Bible journal because in April I'm starting a new devotional and this is called Pathways. It's about Esther and it says from providence to purpose and this is by Tony Evans and there is six sessions in here. This book might last me six months. I'm not real sure. I'm not going to rush through it but I do have week one. And it tells you the um, what to read. And it has questions. And so I want to be able to do this Bible study. And I'm thinking about from what I've thought about. It's like on Monday I will write maybe um, the verses, the scripture that I'm supposed to read for that day. And then... I'll put a tab and it will section me off to my grid pages here. And I'm going to do a page a day and like answering the questions because I think there is enough pages for the whole month to do a page a day if I've counted this right and I've paid attention correctly. Um, and the reason I want, the other reason I wanted this too is because it's already so decorative. So I would not have to focus on coming up with decoration for my page when it's journaling. I mean, Satan's going to fight you, I mean, when it's your Bible time. Because Satan already fights you so hard, um, he don't want you to have your devotion time. So I've tried doing a b6 journal like this for my bible time with just this empty grid and no kind of direction actually to go as far as in the decor and it took me so long to do the decoration that i wouldn't i was give out and didn't want to do my bible and i, I didn't want to have to fight that and I do know also that Coco Daisy does provide a Bible journaling sticker kit um, I didn't see that on the D stash so um, but this is decorated enough for me to where I can journal um, my day and then come over to my grid page for that day um, put down my days and everything and be ready to go and once I get my questions answered or my thoughts down um, then I can throw some decoration on it um, also the other thing I'm curious about do you want me to just show you because this is not something I mind showing at all um, do you want me to, um, would you be interested 
and us discussing um, some of the stuff that I have, like whatever questions, and this is, like I said, by Dr. Tony Evans. I love his stuff. Um, it is so down to earth, and I can just understand it. I, I need it dumbed down for me. Um, and I love the way he can explain stuff. So, do you want me to, do you want this to be a group session to where I tell y'all what I'm reading and tell y'all the questions I've been asked and if y'all want to do this with me, y'all can do this with me and we can talk about it. Um, this might not be everybody's cup of tea and so that's the reason I'm asking. Would you rather just see and me walk you through the pages of what I decorated and how I decorated, which it won't be a lot, it won't have to be a lot, um, because Miss Christine's already done it for me, um, for the majority of the part, so, anyway, um, just wanting to ask, this kit also comes with, um, these um, decorative papers that actually have sayings and quotes on them and they're so pretty. So this is Hello April. Keep what is worth keeping and with breaths of kindness blow the rest away. That's so true. Like a dandelion up through the pavement I persist. Yes. And that's what I'm talking about with my devotionals. I want to be persistent in my devotionals because it's my how I draw close to God. Um, Satan don't want it to happen though, y'all. He wants us to stay defeated. Sometimes the best medicine grows from weeds. And then here's just a decorative page. And this says butterfly kisses and dandelion wishes. So if y'all do have a happy planner or any kind of disc planner and a disc punch or either a three ring binder and a hole punch these can be punched in and made as dividers between each section and it gives you something beautiful to look at between each section or you can laminate these and they will be your um a pencil board, you know, something sturdy that you can put behind your page so you can write easier and, and it's beautiful. Um, or you can cut these up. If you've got a um, journaling planner that needs decorative pages, um, you can do this. Now this book, of course, it comes with this um, brown protection on it. Um, because it goes right into the pages. So I want to use some of this decorative paper that came with the kit to actually um, cover my book. Just take this, glue this, whatever you have. But That's what I'm wanting to do. And so I might do a video of me um, doing that, putting it down, because that would look so pretty. Ain't that beautiful if that was the cover? And then you can incorporate these pages too through here. In different places. See, if you kissy cutted that flower and then just put it right in there, that would make that page so pretty. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to share this with y'all, show you what is coming up, and then give me some feedback if y'all want to go through this book with me by Tony Evans on Esther. Um, I can do a video that shows you all the questions for the upcoming week and what we need to read for the upcoming week and then 
um, we can discuss it. Heck, we might can even come up with a live something or another. But anyway, I just want to throw that out there. I don't want to... I'm going to be doing it whether anybody else does it or not because this is what I want to start in April. Um, like I said, is my devotions. But y'all just let me know if you're interested and do not buy um, straight from this company if you have doubts about it. Get you a D-stash set up. Look at all of it. Um, it comes with goo gobs of stuff, plenty of stuff to decorate with. You, well, the paper, the stickers, they're all good quality, guys. Y'all won't be disappointed in it. But if you're like, I'm just still not sure about it, definitely, um, go to a Coco Daisy D-Stash group and get you some stuff and try it. Um, I'm excited about it. I've also got, I finally found some washi that goes with this kit that someone was selling. I've got that coming. So I'm going to have washi on the bottom that matches. I'm so excited and I can't wait to start this in April. Like I said, give me some feedback so I will know to go ahead and get the questions and everything out to y'all that's in the book so we can do this together in time for April. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Have a good day. Bye.